Do you want me to look at the camera when I say it or do you want me to look at it? Very cool. My name is Caden Finch. I'm 17 years old. Um, I make art. I'm really interested in fashion, really interested in rap music. I write a lot of rap music, rap a lot of rap music, make a lot of art. Really interested in fashion and, and building outfits and building closets, interior design, and drugs. And, <laughs> and uh, and and jewelry and food and just all sorts of stuff. I think my first interaction with art started in daycare, really, or or when I was just really little kid. I started daycare um, really early because my parents had to work and I was still like a baby. Um, I don't think I was one yet. I think I was like like eleven months or something like that. Or and yeah, I I. I just remember getting the tools and pencils and markers and just starting to create and playing with colors. My mom is also an artist, so I was always just surrounded by by seeing images of, of art and going to museums with her and seeing her drawing and, and seeing her artwork up places. My parents' job also is like being in production and stuff was just like it, it got me around seeing art all the time. I think I was exposed to it a lot. Um, but I think I, I think at a young age, like I drew a lot of a lot of visual art from 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 different media. I, I used to love watching like Michael Jackson music videos because he just he like really went above and beyond with it and and illustrating them. There was like a, I remember when I was like a little kid, like in kindergarten, I would draw the, <laughs> like zombies, like getting their heads ripped off and like crazy gruesome stuff. And my teachers were really concerned, but it was not. My, my understanding was not of the gruesomeness of it. It was just the art of it. I was just creating and, and seeing what I was taking in, putting out what I was, what I was taking in. Um, so yeah, I think, I think it started, my interaction started when I was, when I was a lot younger. Yeah. I think, I think like the pandemic really changed things a lot for, for, for how people create art. People are working at home more. People are around their hobbies more. Um, I think it's it's impossible for art to not grow under pressure. Uh, I heard this this famous Montreal core skater, old head, and he like was just talking about how Montreal skaters are like these caged animals getting released in the summer because they spend all winter trapped inside and they can't skate, and so when they get out in the summer they just explode. I think it's that was sort of the same with the rest of the world in art. I think COVID really brought everyone into their their homes and, and everyone was sort of stuck and under pressure. And, and, and so I think art has really exploded in that way. Um, and I think the rise of, of casualness has grown and, and, and the, the breaking the barriers of dress codes at work and, and the way we approach um, how we do things has very much changed. Um, I think though that like following this uh, traditional structure is like, is so dumb and it's just, very much like destroying art because it's it's taking away time that that people can could have to create art and and they're doing it they're doing these meaningless tasks that really don't bring them much happiness so that they can feel stable and feel safe there's no risk there people used to have to to trek out in the wild and 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 hope that there was animals to feed them you know and and 
t taking ultimate risks and the fact that these days people can't just take tiny risks uh, to do things that they like is, is really sad to me. I think that art is, is just like, should be experienced by everyone and, and I want to see the art that everyone creates. Right. I think I'm done. Yeah. See. We've covered a lot. So. Sick. Yeah. Oh yeah.